From BSU's head football coach to life as an NFL scout, that's the road John Peterson has taken over the past few decades. Peterson's career path is unique and shows hard work does really pay off. This is a typical day for Carolina Panthers regional scout John Peterson. <laughs> Testing potential pro prospects trying to find players to help Carolina get back to the Super Bowl. Height, weight, speed to start with and then evaluate. Evaluate the football player. That's what I want to do. I want to evaluate him as a football player. You know, once he makes the basic criteria to get him in the ballpark, I'm going to evaluate him as a football player. And then at the same time, the other criteria that comes in, his intelligence and his background and his character and you know, all those type of things, which are also important. Peterson has spent the past 19 years as an NFL scout, 11 with Seattle, and the past eight for Carolina. He's helped build NFC championship teams in both places. Key to success, I think, is a work ethic, a grinder, a guy who works night and day, works smart, but has, it goes the extra mile. You know, give you an example. The other day, I was in a high school visiting with the eighth grade teacher, the high school coach, uh, a math teacher. How does he learn? The counselors. Way back in high school, I went to the middle school after that to see the progression of this particular person's learning, their behavior, their maturation, how they handle pressure. Peterson's path to the NFL includes a stint as head coach at Bemidji State in the early to mid-1980s, when he turned around what had been a moribund football program at BSU. In his first year at the helm, the Beavers broke a 20-game losing streak with a win over Minnesota Morris on homecoming. His highly energetic and passionate coaching style was a hit with fans and players alike. Hi, my name is Trent Barkey. I'm a defensive end here at BSU. The coach is a motivator. It gets everybody excited and I tend to like getting excited and I, I like the way he coaches. I like his philosophies. Yes, that's this Trent Balky, the San Francisco 49ers current general manager. In an ironic twist, the two NFL evaluators both have roots from the same small Division II football team. Balky and the Beavers would turn things around under Peterson and notch three straight winning seasons. My experience at Bemidji State was outstanding. I mean, I love Bemidji State University. It's a great place. It really is. And, and the experiences that I had there, the interaction with the players and the staff and the faculty, the community, it was exceptional. Peterson left Bemidji State after the 1988 season and worked as player personnel director for the Ottawa Rough Riders of the CFL and general manager for San Antonio in the World League of American Football before breaking into the scouting world. I enjoy evaluation, but I also enjoy my visits at the schools with the coaches and the per personnel that are there. I mean, when I come here to Texas A&M today, I know these people all inside out. I can talk with Kevin Sumlin and the rest of the people, and I enjoy that. It's that felt the fellowship with the people in the business. Life as a scout includes many roads. I don't need to use a GPS. I've got all, it's all up here, all the roads and things that I take. And many days away from home, 250 each year to be exact. You have to have a good wife <laughs> because you're away so much. But that will all end soon. Peterson plans on retiring later on this summer, putting the cap on a career in football that has taken him from Division II Bemidji State to two Super Bowls. And quite an amazing story yeah. there for Peterson. And by the way, Dennis, we were able to locate the photo from the last team Peterson coached at Bemidji State. This is the 1988 squad, excuse me. There you see Peterson, and look who else we found on the squad number 46, our very own Dennis Wyman, linebacker and co-captain of the team. You know, I, I think I need to get that uh, that little mustache back. What do you think? I, I, I tell you what, it's, it's a good look for you. I like the neck roll as well. Got to uh, have a neck roll in the 80s, you know? Yeah, you, you had to have. I, I tell you what, I, it was more of a defensive lineman thing. So to see it on linebacker, it's oh, a little... Oh, no, a lot of linebackers had it back then, okay, too. Yeah, okay. yeah. But, yeah, I think I, I, we'll have to get that mustache back. I that think you work. might have to. Make you look 10 years younger, right? Oh, well, exactly, exactly. Not we can always use that. Either. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Justin. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.